I'm, uh, I bought my uh, drive shaft. Though. They said it to me. It's in, it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, packaged real well. And um, here I've got it side by side with the, uh, the drive shaft that came out of the Chevelle. It's about six or seven inches shorter. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. The um, uh, you know the owner of ProShaft LLC. His name is Justin Mayer. He's a uh, He's also, uh, uh, he's recently joined our group over in um, Facebook, you know, the YouTube Garage Gang um, page. And um, he's, he's, he's there, he's available, he's got, he's pretty, he's, he knows his stuff when it comes to these uh, drive shafts and, you know, all, you may want to give him a call if you have any questions about any projects that you personally have. But <clears throat> he has a web page. And on his web, and I'll, and I'll put a link to that. On his web page, he identifies how to measure a custom drive shaft, which is what I had to put in the Chevelle with the LS1. And um, you know what? Uh, I checked around. He seemed to know his stuff. He showed me how to how to take the measurements, and um, his price was was really good. I mean, uh, it was very competitive, even with the prices I got locally. I, I would say that they were, you know just about the same and he included shipping in his price so that was that was great so anyway I'm gonna after I install the, uh, the drive shaft I will let you know how well it fits um, and I'll take a picture down there uh, of, of the drive shaft being installed and um, you know after that moving right along be right back side by side. As you can see, the top of the drive shaft is a little longer on the new shaft than the old, not by much. I guess it's about an inch longer, which is good because uh, it actually tells you to measure it an inch back from the, drive, from the uh, transmission so that it can move. As you can see, that the, the new drive shaft is several inches shorter. That's because I'm using a 4L60E transmission, and that's the lineup. That's where I guess the trans goes back a little bit farther. Anyway, so that's that's where she, that's where she stands, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how she fits. Focus on the welds. Let's see if I can do that. Very, very well done. Compared to the old welds, pretty good. And the new weld, as you can see, is welded really nice. It's grinded down. The, trans, the uh, drive shaft is balanced. I believe that's probably your balance mark right there. Your weight. Let's look at the front on how it's. Uh, that's the weld on it. Make sure that the uh, drive shaft is welded properly because uh, you wouldn't want to have a situation. That's the original one. And this is the custom drive shaft that was built for the, for the LS1. Okay, uh, I'll bring it back when I install it. Also, take notice we installed all the uh, U joints. sure I had the right the proper straps to go on there I had one I sent it to him and he sent me a pair of new ones and he also sent me new bolts told me to put a little uh, Loctite on the threads he said he said you don't have to but it's not it's a wise thing to put a little Loctite on the threads when you attach the uh, straps to the uh, differential so I guess I'll bring it back when, when it's installed okay that's uh, I want you to stick it out. They measure, they recommend one inch, and according to my tape measure, 
it's uh, it looks like it's about an inch and a quarter. I don't suspect that's going to be a problem. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, this is my emergency brake cable. It should not be a problem because it's got to get tied up still. In the front, which will, which should. We'll see. I'll have to ask Justin if inch and a quarter is a problem. I don't think so. It looks like it's uh, right on, or close to right on. They want, like I said, they want one inch and not that inch and a quarter, it looks like. An inch, yeah, inch and a, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's inch, about inch and a quarter sticking out. I don't think a quarter inch is going to make a difference, but we'll see. Now, she's tightened up on, on both of the, uh, the straps, nice and tight. Not, not overly tight, but tight. Uh, there's the sticker. I don't know if you can see it. Well, hey, this thing is having a hard time focusing. Let's see. Okay, and there's the sticker for Pro Shaft LLC. Comes over, and she's sitting in the drive, the uh, transmission. She's sitting about a, uh, she's sitting a quarter of an inch more than I would than what I would like to have seen it. But you know, hey, the measurement came out to uh, I said 53 and three quarters, I believe. I can't remember exactly. Um, what you do is you measure, you put one inch off of here, and you measure from that one inch mark to the uh, to the tip of the the edge of the uh, the saddle for the uh, differential for the differential. That edge is the middle of your your uh, U joint. And that's where it, what 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 they want the measurement to be when you when you build a custom drive shaft you measure from from that edge to one inch from the from the edge of the transmission where she goes the mouth of the transmission the uh, the end of the uh, tail shaft one inch from there so I'm inching a quarter from there but it's like a, a six inch shaft so and, and and the shaft is a little longer than the uh, original one so it should be all right it should be all right I will check with uh, Justin as a matter of fact Justin I hope you uh, chime in on that quarter of an inch so that people understand whether how critical that quarter of an inch is um, but I think she's okay We've got the transmission the motors all set up the uh, transmission cross member is completely set the rear of course we you know that was set New brakes, new emergency brakes. She's good. Now I just got to run the uh, fuel lines and some other things. And anyway, thank you very much uh, for chiming in here. I hope this was a help to somebody. Um, I, I sure needed the information on how to measure these things when, when I first called Justin. And um, now I know. So I don't know if you can see his picture, his, his telephone number. I hope you can. Uh, this thing's got to settle in. Uh, let's see if you can get, get that telephone number. Justin's there. He answers the telephone. And uh, that's a pretty cool thing to have. You know, he builds these in his shop. He, he uh, balances them. Welds them, paints them, sends them out. And i got to tell you, it was affordable price. You know, I... You know, I I don't want to say the price. I think that Justin can chime in if he wants to tell people how much he sells these things for. Otherwise, visit his web shop, his website. Uh, it's uh, sales at proshaftllc.com. Proshaftllc.com is his website. And on that website, it he explains how he wants you to measure the shaft and the different things you need to take a look at. You need to, you know, Make sure the yoke is proper for the transmission, and if not, he's got a line of yokes that he'll sell. Um, 
he installs the U joints. He wants to make sure the saddles are correct. Uh, this, U joints are different. Every U joint is different. In fact, what I learned on this this rear is that uh, it's a 12 bolt um, early 70s, uh, late 60s, early 70s uh, rear, and they came out both with a U uh, a U bolt that that you strap the transmission, uh, you strap it onto the uh, saddle, and then um, the straps. Um, this has the strap similar to the Jeep strap. I don't know if you can see it. Similar to the Jeep strap, believe it or not, um, and it's, I think it's a better system once it's strapped in there, but it's done. And thank you, Justin. I appreciate it, bud. Um, I'll put a link to your website on, on uh, this video, so hopefully people who uh, need, you know, need your help can come up to it, can uh, get that information. I got to tell you, um, it helped me, and I'm sure it'll help others. Um, that's it for the for now. I got a lot of other stuff I got to deal with. I'm converting the the um, the uh, horseshoe shifter to a overdrive shifter. I bought the uh, the conversion from Shiftworks. Actually, it was from Nuts and Bolts. Dot, uh, uh, you know, GM. I think Rusty Nuts and Bolts. I, I don't know. I'll I'll get to you on that stuff. But uh, the conversion kit looks pretty simple. You know, you got a detent uh, sh uh, bar that you've got to replace on your shifter, and then a new uh, new shift taps for your transmission, and and it, and it converts over real nice, so you can have your factory original horseshoe shifter and console in your uh, late model or early model uh, Chevelle, which is kind of cool. All right, bud. We'll uh, we'll talk later. Bye.